look under my cupboard, under the sink, and, and the cupboard to the right of it, which is where I tend to keep all the sort of household, all this sort of stuff, all the cleaning stuff. And it's been a while since I've sorted it out. You know what it's like, you think you need something, you go into Poundland or wherever, and you pick up some more, only to find that actually, at the back of the cupboard, you've still got one that you haven't even used. So I thought today is the day where I need to just have a little bit of a clear out. Um, I've got my washing machine going, if you hear the noise, because it's kind of like a bit of a, things have been so hectic lately, we've let, well, we haven't had time to do everything, so I'm kind of trying to catch up a little bit. I've got my boxes here that I bought from Poundland ages and ages ago, and this I keep under my sink. Um, and I'll just show you, if I just move the camera forward a bit, look, these are all the products that were in them, and I have several doubles and things like that, so I thought, I need to really sort it out. So, I have been buying this for a long time now, I love it, for my sink especially, because I've got a ceramic sink, um, and it's a Domestos bleach spray, but what I do now, rather than buy bleach and buy this, I just buy bleach, which I use on other things, and I just top it up, put so much bleach in, and then I just put water in. So, this is empty, I've used it all, so I've just filled it with some bleach, whoops, and I've just now topped it up with some water. And it kind of makes my bleach go that little bit further, you know, I'm not paying out for two things. I keep bleach upstairs in the bathroom for the toilet, and then I keep one down here uh, for this reason. So, um, I will use that in a moment, and I'll show you. In fact, I'll show you now what I do with this. Right, so literally what I do is I just, as you can see, I just sort of squirt it, spray it all into my sink, look. And it gets into all those, all these little places in here that you can't always get into. So I squirt it in there, squirt it down there. Give it all a really good clean. Okay, I'll pop these in the dishwasher in a minute. So that's how I keep my sink nice and white. I'm going to put this in the the plastic container that I'm going to keep near the front because this is something I reach for quite a bit. So, so that's going to go in the front. I've got an oven cleaner here. I've had this for a while, but this isn't something I reach for very often. In fact, I probably should reach for it more often. Tiny little bit of fly killer here. And then I've got another one here, the rapid one. So these are going to go in the back. Now this is the Astonish oven and cookware cleaner. But something again I don't reach for often. Glade shake and vac. Again, I don't use this often, but what I like to do with this is when we go away, if we're going on a holiday or something like that, I like to just put this, a little light dust in all around the house so that when you come back in, you know when you've been away, you come home, sometimes the house can be a little bit sort of stale because you haven't had any windows or doors open. So I do like to just put a light dust in, as I say, over the whole of the house, over the floors, well, where we've got carpets anyway. Whoops, what's that noise? Um, and then you come in to a nice, a nice little smell, but don't use it often. Astonish antibacterial spray. Didn't think I had any of this left, so yesterday I went and bought that. So I'm going to put this one in the front to use it first, and that one can go in the back. Um, again, another oven cleaner. You think with all these oven cleaners that I've got a spotless oven, and I don't. Not too bad, but you know, it could be better. Um, again, this is the Astonish oven cleaner, but it's the uh, spray bottle one. Right, I've still got some of this left. This is the sieve, and it's the um, the, the micro crystals pink flower, and I use that on my cooker quite often, so that's going to go in the front. I've got the Method Daily Granite Cleaner, and then I've got the Apollo Stone Guard. 
clean it as well because we've got quartz worktops in our kitchen and on our islands so we kind of buy these for it so I've had like two on the go don't ask me why but I'm gonna just keep them both in the in the front one because I use them quite a bit um polish I use that regularly the Tesco window and glass cleaner I use that pretty much daily um having dogs in the house my own dogs and dogs that come on their holiday if you can hear me talking over my two play in here they're always jumping up at the French doors and putting their noses on them and stuff so I use this a lot. This I use a lot. I absolutely love the Star Drops make. Um, totally underrated. I really think they are. This is the leather cleaner. So that I use on sofas. So that's going to go in the front. This has gone. But this has been amazing. This is Star Drops again. And it's actually a barbecue cleaner. And I have used this on my, uh, on my range top. You know when you get the stubborn marks there and you've cooked something and it's maybe spilled over or something and really quite difficult to get off. I thought one day I'll try this. If it works on a barbecue it's going to be really good for your cooker and it's excellent but it has all gone. Um, the bleach I'm going to put in the back box because I'm not going to need that again until um, my bleach spray thing is empty. That's the 4-in-1 pie disinfectant um, spray. This says here it kills the flu virus and kills 99% of all germs so and that is a really good one but I haven't even opened this one yet but I'm going to put that in the front. It's an air freshener and it's the Cotton Fresh by Pan Aroma. Let's give that a little squirt. It's actually quite subtle but it's nice. I think it just gives more of a, a fresh smell. So Yesterday I bought a new pack of this and it's the glow white. You just, you know, when you just want to bring your whites back, even though they're already white, you think they're really white, sometimes they could just do with that, that little bit more. So I bought one of those. When I was going through the boxes, I realised I already had one, so I've now got two of those. I um, bought this only yesterday and it's the kettle descaler, so I'm going to be using that and I'm going to use that in a minute so I'll keep it out. The finish dishwasher cleaner. I'm going to use that later, so I'm going to pop this in the front box. I'm going to do this today, so I'll keep it out. It's a lemon washing up liquid. So, finish dishwasher rinse aid. Got that yesterday, but I've got a feeling down here I've still got some more in this cupboard here. So I'm just going to keep that to the side for the moment. Um, this is for my orchids, so I'm going to start feeding them soon. Again, I've got a washing machine cleaner, which I won't use today because I'm really busy doing loads of washing, but I've got that and I'm going to keep that in the front so that I use it. Now I didn't think I had any dishwasher salt the other week, so I've only got some more dishwasher salt, but I already had some. This is just so typical of me. Um, but I could really do with a container to put that in, so I'm going to put it in here. Keeps it a lot neater. And then, if I always chop this up, I know I'm not sort of doubling up and let it dry. dishwasher salt in there. So I picked up these from Poundland a while ago um, when I was sort of cleaning out under the sink once before but they're just full of absolute rubbish now. Look at them, they've just got like there's no order to them anymore and I knew I had enough somewhere. Well, that's better then. So there we go. Literally all my cloths and sponges are in there. So, okay, in this one, I'm going to put in scrubbing brushes. That's the scrubbing brush that Chris picked up yesterday. For some reason. That's for the iron, you know, so that you can do the steam ironing, put the water in. This funny little thing is like so, so old, as you can see, um, but it's if you get one of those rings a white ring on your on your woodwork you just rub this in and then buff it off so hang on to that but I'll put that in here because it's something I don't use very often this one this is just one of those cloths that you you pop your hand in and then you just sort of dust everything 
this one in there as well. This again is nearly empty. I've got a little bit left in here, but this is 1001 Carpet Fresh. I use that quite regularly where the dogs go, which is absolutely all over the house. Um, again, if they've been out for a walk or, you know, they've got wet and they've got that bit of a doggy smell to them, then um, they've like come in and as they do, roll on the carpets, I sort of go over with that and it kind of disappears really quickly, but it's quite a refreshing thing. These are spare brushes. I've got one that I'm using at the moment. Actually, I might put that one on the sink as well, the small one. So this one here is going to go in with the the dusters and the cloth. Well, these are some of the sticky mitts. So I'm going to put those in with the dog thing and the dog box. And these you just sort of take off the sticky back in and then you can go over your clothes if you've got any dog hairs or over your furniture. And this one as well, this is um, pet head and it's for dogs to make them smell lovely, like a little deodorant thing for their coats. Another rinse aid, another whitener for whites. Well, this is what happens when you just don't check under your sinks properly. Oh, this is Vanish Gold Carpet Care, just in case you get any little mishaps on the floor from either grandchildren or pets. And some more Febreze in vanilla. Now, I had one of these, didn't I? I know, I don't know if you should or not, but it's not like it's a really bad chemical or anything, is it? So... I'm just going to do, I'm going to mix them, because I don't want two of these kind of almost, you know, just half full. So I'm going to mix that. So now I've got Thai, or, no, uh, Thai vanilla. <laughs> I've made Thai vanilla. What a fragrance. Mm -hmm. Be a new fragrance, guys. So you people up for breeze, please make one called Thai vanilla with my name on it. I found a jar, so I'm going to just pop all of these into here and pop that under the cupboard so I know where it is. That's for my orchids, so I'm going to give them a little um, spray of this now I think. And this, I just keep this under my sink and it's just ordinary tap water. But as soon as I've used it, or used any, I top it back up, keep it under the sink so it's more room temperature. And this is just for my house plants, so I don't give them the water directly from the tap. I find it may shock some of the plants because it's so cold so I just keep that say under my sink and as I use it I just retop it up um, and I literally at the moment I'm only I'm only watering my plants maybe once every sort of seven to ten days at the moment so that's it guys I have successfully cleaned out under my sink and the cupboard next to it and I feel so much better for doing it it's something that you know every time you go there you think oh I really need to do this and then once you do it you think it really didn't take very long at all to do it and you just feel so decluttered having done it I know I've got to pull a few things out but it's only to show you right so this box here this is the one that I said I don't use very often so that's gone right to the back this is the one that I use more often. I sort of tend to go to these products a little bit more. So I'm just going to sort of keep that a little bit nearer to the front. Video, please give me a thumbs up I'd love it if you would become part of my YouTube family and subscribe to my channel to so say I do all sorts of types of videos whether it's decluttering cleaning cooking beauty fashion travel all sorts of things but yeah I'd love to have you on board I'll talk to you guys in the next video until then stay safe stay fabulous bye bye, bye. Um, I'm going to pop 